Sky Kim here with your Generation I news update. Last week, Rich Piana revealed some shocking news about the reality of synthol in the bodybuilding industry. To be more specific, he claims that bodybuilders today don't use synthol, but instead use a product called Nolatil. Well, it looks like that didn't sit well for former bodybuilder Dave Palumbo, who has released a response video simply titled, Rich Piana is wrong about synthol. I just watched the Rich Piana video where he uh, insinuates that Nolotl is the new site enhancement, I guess you could say chemical of today, and synthol is passe, and I gotta, I gotta respond. And I gotta start out by saying Rich Piana and I are friends. Uh, we go way back, we used to compete together, we both respect each other. First of all, I would say 75 to 80% of the top pros, and I'm, I'm being conservative, use synthol. I know it for a fact. The reason I know it is because I sell it on DavePalumbo.com, and I know who buys it. So uh, unless they're buying it and just putting it on their shelf, uh, that right there, right, right there and then, it's, it's wrong. Dave has a long history within the bodybuilding industry and claims that at least 85% of competitors use synthol to make themselves look bigger. So who's right, Rich or Dave? You can watch Dave Palumbo's full video explaining why Rich Piana is wrong on his RX Muscle YouTube channel. To get more updates, be sure to subscribe to Generation Iron on YouTube for all things bodybuilding. From GI News, I'm Sky Kim. Back in the 70s and 80s, um, did, did the bodybuilders believe that one day they're going to be part of the Olympic Games? Well, that's correct. What happened, the, uh, the person behind that, I don't know if you remember a guy named Ben Weider. Ben Weider was Joe, well, Joe Weider's younger brother, and uh, you know they had a, a, a kind of agreement. Joe ran the magazines, and, and uh, Ben really ran what they call the IFBB which is, you know, covers the contest. He was the president. He traveled the country. And Ben went all over the world.